Um, honestly, I think that we actually attacked the paint really well and finished uh, pretty well for the most part. So um, for us, it's about getting downhill. Um, obviously, they were hard hedging a lot. And so just getting around that, making the right reads. Um, but I was proud of our effort of getting to the rim um, and trying to exploit their, them that way defensively. You guys notice anything that changed in the third quarter that made it a little harder for you to put the ball in the basket? Uh, I would say uh, for us, it was just hammering down that personnel, um, knowing schemes. Um, I think we kind of we hung loose a little bit going into that third quarter, come out of halftime as far as what we did in the first half, as far as knowing where people were defensively and knowing where we need to come. Um, just knowing the schemes or the overall personnel and um, understanding, you know, who we go on, who we don't go on, that kind of thing like that. Can we? Have, I think we had some slippage. Kelsey, they were, you know, glued to your jersey off the ball even and doubling you in the fourth quarter. How'd you figure out a way to get it going? And you know, what could the what could kind of happen earlier in the game to to make that happen? Even when they're so close to you, away from the play the whole time. Uh, I think our pace increased. Uh, our PG kind of influenced, and you know. Uh, and post her wheel as far as like, getting the ball up to four uh, really fast. Um, and I made it my job and, you know, her responsibility to make me run faster uh, <laughs> down the floor. So um, for me, it's just all about seeing one going in, a combination of being patient and understanding schemes and reads. And um, throughout the course of the first through third, really, was just making reads because they were bringing so many people to me. Um, and at, at that point, I have confidence in my teammates to make the right play. Uh, Zion, anything for Kelsey, Kelsey or d -Rub? Yeah, I'll start with D. Rob. Uh, Kelsey just kind of talked about how you were able to kind of be here to help her get going in the fourth. How how is that kind of your role as a point guard? How do you make sure when you see she has the hot hand in the quarter like that to, to facilitate to her? Um, you know, get her in position to score. Um, like you know, she said I was pushing up the floor. Um, you know, transition defense for them. Um, is something that, we, or somewhere where we know we can punish them. Uh, and so I think that was the key. Like, But it starts with getting stops. And so um, when we do that, we can just run it up their backs and, and try and get quick touches um, for her so that you know she doesn't have to fight through the double or triple team kind of thing. Um, but all Kelsey needs is one to go in, and <laughs> the rim gets so big. So um, I'm, I'm mad at myself for letting it take that long um, to get her going. Obviously, she has more touches and, and looks in the first half. I think it's a different ball game, but, you know, proud of our effort tonight and, and for her to get going like that um, is still incredible. She's an all-star, by the way. <laughs> She's crazy. And, and Kelsey, what did kind of flip for you to get going after the third and into the fourth? Uh, honestly, if I'm being real, nothing. Um, I was just making reads and being able to, like, bounce off um, what my team was giving me and what the team we were playing was giving me. Um, in transition, I told her, I said, just, you know, look for me. Um, when she come in in transition, she can't get you know the bucket that she needs. I'm gonna be in, you know I'm gonna be ready running the lane. So for me, I just need to see one go in. And I think after that, you know, I guess I guess it's a different ball game. And this could be for either of you, but you two and uh, Destiny off the bench all really were able to, like you guys talked about earlier, get to the rim and get good penetration on your drive. Why do you think that was? Uh, I think a combination of spacing, um, being able to you know defend the ball and get back out in transition. Um, Henny is really good as far as her and D. Rob is really good as far as hitting the paint coming in transition. So for us, it's all about making sure that we defend the ball at the high level and get out. Um, I don't think a lot of teams will be able to like keep up with us as long as we defend the ball. Tony, you got another one. one. And dude, just because D. Rob mentioned it, Kelsey, I wanted to ask you just directly about it. Is being an all-star this season a goal for you? Uh, yes, sir. I don't. I don't think you're human <laughs> or anybody in the league. I mean, you're not. You know. Uh, professional if you don't want to be. Um, obviously, I, I want to be. I have aspirations to be, but um, I'm going to take it day she by is. day with my team. And, you know, she let's is. just focus on winning. I'm winning every day. Improvement. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, good, Tony. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you guys for bringing Coach Stanley in. We are BG. We miss you. We love you, dog. Love you, BG. Well, you know, Kelsey has great feel for the game, and she, you know when she can can get in a rhythm, which they made it difficult for most of the game. But in the fourth, she got in a rhythm, and we're just going to keep feeding her. Um, you know, I mean, there's not, nothing magical about it. You know, she's just a really good player who, when she heats up, awfully hard to guard, awfully hard to to stop, and. Um, you know, she's particularly good in the open court, and there were some opportunities there. And once she started making shots, um, you know, she can be deadly. Doc Bell had uh, four points, three rebounds, and 
halftime. Queen Echo finished plus two in this game. What did you think of the way Queen was able to kind of hang with her on both ends of the floor? Well, I thought there were some, some good stretches, and then there were some times where we had a little bit of trouble. Uh, and, you know, just valuable experience. You know, Queen rebounded the ball pretty well. She got a couple good opportunities in the paint to score it. Um, you know, I think as a team, you know, one of the things that I'm really happy about is that we really battled. I mean, we came out swinging and threw the first punch and kept punching uh, first half. You know, I thought we set the tone, and that was our, our goal coming out of the locker room to start the game was to set the tone about how the game was going to be played. I think we were able to do that. You know, they made a few adjustments, and I think the biggest thing in the second half, they were seven for nine from the three-point line. First half, they were four for ten, and, you know, they just got going a little bit, got freed up around the three-point line a little bit too much, and uh, we had a little bit of difficulty, you know, fouling. You know, we've got to clean up the fouls. You know, we're battling hard, which is really, really good, and, you know, some of that is, um, you know, Tip your hat to Connecticut. They're a very good team with experienced veterans in the post. And, um, you know, there were a number of good signs, but, you know, we put them on the foul line a little bit too much. And uh, they had 20, 28 points off turnovers. You know, too many live ball turnovers, I guess, was a, a big thing. So um, those are the things that, you know, proved fatal for us. But there's a lot of good things in this game. I mean, we shot 54% from the field, 40 from the three point line. 84 from the foul line, which has been a little bit of a struggle for us. So that those are good signs. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed for our players because, you know, we really uh, played hard the way we want to play. So I'm proud of them for that. And, uh, you know, we had 42 points in the paint, which is probably a high for the season, I would imagine, right? Um, I know I'm rambling here. I'm, I'm, giving you, I'm answering your question and giving you some good things that I'm, I'm, I'm happy about. You know, losing sucks. Nobody likes it. But uh, against this caliber of an opponent, um, there were some good things in the game, and we're going to hold on to those, and then we're going to clean up the stuff that we can clean up. You like a lot of stuff that happens, and especially after you were kind of disappointed after Tuesday's game. What does it say about the young team to respond in the way that they did? Oh, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm getting at, you know. Um, we knew we could play better than we did the other day, and I credit our players with just making a decision that, yeah, you know, we, we didn't have our energy level up. We didn't have our collective defensive effort, effort up. Um, we were better in some areas, but we committed um, a few too many fouls and, and uh, a few too many turnovers. And, but, you know, there's a lot of bright spots, like I said, on, the, you know, on this stat sheet, and we're going to hang on to those and keep building on them. Uh, Zion, Zion, anything, anything coach? coach? Yeah, Coach, all three of your you know, primary ball handlers, d Rod, Kelsey, and Destiny, were able to really get downhill and get some rim pressure on their drives. Why mm -hmm. do you think they were all able to do that tonight? Well, the Connecticut struggled with that. You know, we kept going to it because they had a hard time keeping us in front of them. And, uh, you know, when our guards you know, when the player with the ball didn't score downhill, they were finding teammates on the perimeter. And I thought we shared the ball well. Um, we moved the ball pretty well. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm looking at the fouls and I'm seeing 27 to 18. That, that's a little bit too high, you know. And, uh, you know, you want to be aggressive, but you have to, you know, be able to do it uh, without committing fouls. And, you know, we're learning, we're getting better. That will improve. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things from this game that will help us moving forward. Is there an emphasis maybe on getting Kelsey going earlier as well as she played in the fourth just because she was so passive rather or just didn't score a lot early in the game? Well, I don't think uh, she was passive. I think, yeah. you know, they, they she was their focus. And so, you know, I think she was outstanding, matter of fact, uh, giving the ball up and, and finding her teammates and still – being involved in the flow, drawing all that attention, it helped her teammates, you know, get open and score. So, um, you know, we need a balance between the two. And when when it was winning time, you know, she stepped up, got going, and then what she does, it's it's hard to keep her in check. Um, I like the fact that neither she nor we forced things. Uh, so, can I? Pre-game, we had talked about the 
just the front court battle, and you saw the, the 23 second chance points that Connecticut was able to get. So going into Sunday, how do you think you guys can try to shore that up? Yeah, I mean, their length concerned me, you know, and sometimes the, you know, the lineup they were putting on the floor made it tough for us. Um, but again, that's experience. I mean, I, I said it before, you know, you got Bonner, Thomas, Jones, Court, uh, Courtney Williams, and Jasmine Thomas, and Brianna Jones. Those six have all played together for a long, long time, you know. They got size and experience, and, and uh, you know, I thought we kept them in check for most of the night. Um, you know, won the first quarter, won the last quarter. I'm a little disappointed that, you know, we had two 16-point quarters right in the middle of the game, but, you know, in the second and the third. But, you know, to do what we did here, um, again, our seventh game of the season already at their place against a very, very good team, you know, there was a lot of bright spots. So we're going to focus on that. We're going to uh, keep working on the things we need to be better at and, uh, you know, just keep moving forward. Our team is improving. We're getting we're getting outstanding experience for you know everybody, but particularly our young people, and we're going to keep doing that.